This season under Xavi, Barcelona have finally started to get back where they belong, amongst the very best in the world. While their first place in La Liga definitely shows the Bas are not to be laughed with anymore, the Blaugrana are maybe just not yet at that level that their fans want them to be at. The level of being able to genuinely compete for Champions League victory and being a fair team all throughout the world. Why are they not there yet, and what should Xavi do to get there? In this video, that's what we're going to talk about, so make sure to stay tuned as this is definitely going to be interesting. First of all, Barcelona's team is comprised out of a lot of young, inexperienced players. Jules Koundé, Ronald Araujo, Eric Garcia, Alejandro Balde, Pedri, Gavi, Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres are all still at the beginning of their career. Even someone like Dembélé, who may already be 25 years of age, isn't that experienced after having spent about half of his career out injured on the sidelines. In normal La Liga games, the difference in quality between Barcelona and their opponents is usually so big that this lack of experience doesn't really form too big of an issue for Xavi's team. But when Barcelona play in Europe against better teams like Bayern Munich, Inter Milan or Man United, the difference in quality isn't that big anymore. So in those type of games, experience usually has a bigger impact. Barcelona might on paper even have a better team, but on the very biggest stage, other teams can counteract that with experience, which is what happened for example against Inter Milan in the Champions League group stage. And I know what some of you are about to tell me. Against Real Madrid in the Supercopa, Barcelona dominated and won deservedly. And Real Madrid is one of the most experienced teams out there. That's definitely true, but I think that against Real Madrid, Barcelona are just not the same. There is usually something about El Clasico that makes Barcelona often play better than usual, probably just the sheer motivation of beating the big arch-rivals Real Madrid. Last year, when the Blaugrana demolished Los Blancos at the Bernabeu with 4-0 was also an example of that. We are yet to see Xavi's Barcelona have that type of game against another big team. If you look back at the game against Bayern Munich in the Allianz Arena in the group stages of the Champions League this season, Barcelona had actually quite a good game there, and people saw that this wasn't a team anymore that just went to big European games without any hope and was just asking for humiliations. In that game against Bayern, it was just the lack of experience in big games that made the difference. And what do I exactly mean by a lack of experience in big games? Well, making the right decision in attacking situations, something that players like Gavi and Ansu Fati can still improve at, staying calm and not panicking when something doesn't go the right way, something every one of Barca's youngsters can improve on, and not making fouls when you should make them, something a lot of youngsters like Gavi have already improved on a lot, but sometimes players like Frenkie de Jong even will not do it when they should. The only way to get better at this is basically just to give it some time and let these players develop, because eventually they will all get quite experienced. Think about it. Gavi is only 18 years old right now. By the age of 25 he could have a lot of experience and be the best midfielder in the world maybe, while he's still just 25. So Barca fans should just be patient and let these players develop. But when will they really have the experience to get far into competitions like the Champions League? where experience plays a huge role like Real Madrid showed last season. Well, next season it might still be a little too early to be amongst the real candidates, but Barcelona should already be able to get quite far into the Champions League, where they will play the exact type of games that they need to get more experienced on the biggest stage. So in the season after that they would maybe be amongst the top candidates for Champions League victory. If you now think back about Pep Guardiola's first season at Barcelona, you would maybe think that he inherited a team that was on rock bottom like Xavi did. But while Barcelona had indeed had two trophyless seasons back then, the core of players was young but already somewhat experienced. Messi, Iniesta and especially Xavi had already been important players in Rijka's Barcelona for about four years, a team that also already won the Champions League, remember? Puyol was already a world-class defender, Thierry Henry was very experienced by now, the same goes for Samuel Eto'o, and Victor Valdez was already a world-class goalkeeper. Players like Dani Alves, Jarre Piquet and Sergio Busquets might have been young and inexperienced, but this team had a core of players who had already been through both good and bad times, and who were still relatively young. So it's difficult to compare that to Xavi's Barcelona, where players like Pedri, Gavi and Balde have only just started to break through in times where Barcelona never really got far into the Champions League. Expecting Xavi's Barcelona to immediately be amongst the very, very best would be naive, but pure quality-wise, they might already be there. Just give the team some big game experience, have some patience, and they will reach the level that Barcelona should truly be at. A lack of experience is a problem that not only the players face, 
As for Xavi as a coach, this might be a problem too. He's only been a Barcelona coach since November of 2021, so he's been here for almost a year and a half, and he had no real experience on the biggest stage prior to that. Of course, it shouldn't come as a surprise that sometimes he gets his tactics still wrong. This goes especially for big games, because there Barcelona don't have that much of an advantage in pure quality, so any tactical mistakes will get punished right away. Against Manchester United in the Europa League, this was the case, with Xavi picking a backline that didn't really make sense. Marcos Alonso at centre back was definitely not a great idea, and the situation only got worse when Rashford ended up playing in the middle rather than on the left, where Araujo had especially been put to stop him. In that game, Den Haag did get the better of Xavi tactically, which is nothing to be ashamed of if you realize that he's just more experienced in big games and has been one of the world's most famous coaches for some years now. So what does Xavi need to do to become more experienced and get his tactics right in most of the big games? Well, you already know the answer really, just have more big games to learn from. Xavi is definitely the right coach for Barcelona and he has completely transformed his team. So a little bit of experience is maybe all he needs to be amongst the very best coaches in the world. Experience, both for the players and for Xavi, might really be the only thing that separates this Barcelona team from teams like Bayern Munich or Manchester City right now. If you look at Barcelona on paper, their goalkeeper is world class, their defense is world class too, their midfield is probably world class too, and in attack you've got arguably the best striker in the world. That kind of team should be able to compete for every price really. And if you think I'm exaggerating, then just look at the stats from La Liga. Barcelona have 56 points right now after 21 games, which is as much as in the 28-29 season after the same amount of games, and only in the 2017-2018 season and in the 2012-2013 season they did better for the last 20 years. That means that Xavi's Barcelona are currently doing better in La Liga than some famous Barcelona teams that were feared throughout the world. If that doesn't convince you that Barcelona are already close to the very highest level, then I don't know what will. Just give this team a little more experience and then the big games will also start to go in their way, and they might truly become an unstoppable force. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca and have a good day.